get more current. I really don't care about 40 something volts. I would rather see uh, 15 or 20 at, at uh, you know, 2, 3, 4, 5 amps. Then I've got something as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so I'll do my test with these. Wind all the way through and then just on each side and see what that does. Um, the flux switching after t after 120 hertz, at least with this core, with this one it might be different. But right now with this, the way this is configured, after about 123 or so, there is less of a flux being switched and it's more like a transformer. 80 is not bad, 60 is great. Real solid flux switching. And uh, probably where I'd end up running the thing. And you know, at the end of the day, 60 hertz is not a bad speed. If you got things configured with your windings on your coils and you're collecting a good enough of energy, um, shouldn't matter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slow this down to probably, uh, let's see, let's go, uh, let's do 10 hertz because I want you to see this moving. Here's the flux switching. When it's up at a faster uh, frequency um, you can't really see this the camera's not going to pick it up so it's kind of like pointless to try and uh, pointless to try and show that on the video we are never going to see this better I already tried it yeah. coming off of here. Nothing coming off of this, right? So this is the flux circuit side. There's just a little flux, but I think it's just leaking around things. You know, you come down here and, and it starts to get really strong. Um, these magnets are uh, almost three quarters of an inch in diameter um, and almost uh, an eighth inch thick, which I think is five millimeters. Um, I've tried uh, two of these on each side, and uh, it seems like two of these, in comparison to three of those, this is too much. Too much flux, at least for this coil that's here, to be able to switch it. So, I've had uh, one inch square neodymiums in here. And I've played around with, uh, this is actually a ferrite cord that I've had in place there. This guy here, which didn't do bad, there's 50 turns of, uh, I think, uh, I think that's 16 gauge. Yeah, 16 gauge is not 14. Um, I've also had this in here, which is um, 120 volt primary. Didn't do much. Um, and this one here has got a 5 volt out and a 12 volt out. And I've tried both windings, and they seem to be about the same. Maybe just a little better than this one, but it consumes a little more power. Uh, this would be running at probably two and a half amps at this at this uh, frequency. Um, we're 1.7 amps right now, and 17 watts in, um, only because we're switching slow. You know, watch. I'm going to speed this up. As soon as I get to uh, right around you know, 60 hertz there, that's what we usually have. And I'm going to do a 
dead short while you're looking at this. We are completely shorted out at the cap. So that's 20 watts, almost 22, uh, 21, excuse me, and almost 2 amps. So that's the dead short. Okay, guys, that's all I got. Hope this helps anybody out there to doing meg work. But uh, this is a different way of doing it. Um, is it the best way? I don't know. I've tried making the conventional way and and uh, was never really convinced that I even had anything um, powering anything or generating enough power even what I was putting into it. Um, at least right now we seem to be the other direction. And these are real numbers. And this is the difference. You can do the math right there. You saw the uh, the milliamps. You know what the volts are. You know what we got here. Not hiding anything, no games. I don't really call this over unity. It's generating a little more power than I'm putting in. Um, is it a considerable amount of power? Hell no. Um, but it's a start. It's fun to, fun to play around with it. So again, this cap here, 10 microfarads, and that is basically across these two coils but going through one half of the bridge on each side. So every negative and positive um, is catching this capacitor and uh, bringing the resonance up just enough to bring this up. And it makes a considerable amount more volts um, than if I didn't have it. Okay, yeah, guys. Sorry for the fingers. This is what we got on this side. Alright, have fun, stay safe.